if you're selecting new drivers or if, if you're looking for more representatives and brand ambassadors on the team, what is it that you're looking for? So, you know, Travis just hit the nail on the head. You know, it, it may look cool if you got stickers, but it's cooler if you get paid to race. You don't get paid to race if you don't treat it like a job. Um, and I think that's one of the big distinctions. You know, a, a lot of teams that are successful, um, they don't necessarily treat it like a business. And um, within this organization, I mean, everybody that is a full-time member of this team is, you know, it's a paid position. It's there. This is a business. And so if you're a young driver that's looking uh, to, to try to get a seat on this team or any factory team, if they exist, um, sharing and showing that you understand that it's a business and everything you do. Caden's a perfect example. He understands it's a business. He understands that what he does and, and his role in the business, it, it's it's clear to him what his responsibilities are. And he goes above and beyond that as well. And I think Courtney was touching on that earlier. You know, you, you, you in in racing, you're you're vying for that first position. You can't get better than first. But when you're vying for dollars from brands, you have to be better than first. You have to be first plus, you know, another 10%. Um, and and I think Travis hit the nail on the head too. As as a team that is partnering with brands, you're doing it for one reason. You know, it's it's not exposure anymore. Um, brands have figured out how to to get the exposure they need for the most part. I mean, a new brand maybe needs a, a little bit of help in the brand recognition standpoint, but the reason any athlete is getting paid is because ultimately they're supposed to help sell a product or a service.